Movies like Minority Report or animes like Psychopaths depicts a future in which there are technologies capable of predicting and identifying future criminals, individuals being arrested for crimes they have not yet committed. Obviously these are fictional stories. There will never be technology capable of predicting evil or criminal intent in people. Or so we think. What if I told you that in China they are continuously working on an artificial intelligence that is able to identify criminals just by seeing their faces? Are you ready to live in a world where people are being arrested for crimes they have not yet committed? Today, we're going to take a look at this eerie piece of technology. Every day we see people getting arrested on the news. Surely when you see the faces of these criminals on TV, you see evil in them. Or at the very least, you saw something that uneases you. That's because we as humans have the ability to recognize patterns. Perhaps the shape of their eyebrows? mouth or nose imply that they are dangerous. It could also be based on memories of other criminals or by inherited patterns. And this is what's being tested. Shaolin Wu, the creator of this artificial intelligence, asked himself, what would happen if I taught a computer to recognize patterns or facial features in criminals? To look for common traits on all the people who have been arrested in China and then compare them to the general population to see if this artificial intelligence was able to identify the criminals. The photographs used in the test were of men ages 18 to 55. Once the artificial intelligence analyzed the traits of all the criminals, it began to look for similarities between them. It was shown more than a thousand photographs of violent criminals as well as civilians, and was not specified who was which. Wu then began the experiment. If it works properly, the criminals should be separated from the civilians. So what were the results? The AI was able to predict an 89% of the criminals. Though it had a margin of error of 11%, it still managed to identify hundreds of convicts accurately by seeing only their faces. The creator obviously knew who the criminals were, but now comes the disturbing part of this story. This artificial intelligence was created in 2016 and continues to be worked on to this day. It is not known how accurate it is now. Some have claimed that it is able to identify criminals with a 98% accuracy. This means that the artificial intelligence could theoretically predict if you have the tendency of becoming a criminal with a 98% certainty. What does this mean? The study of facial expressions is something that was talked about before, but this AI not only can read your face, but also your emotions. There are many techniques used to study these features that are considered pseudoscientific, but apparently, this artificial intelligence has shown that they are effective, or at least their intentions were correct. There also exists an algorithm that tries to predict which parolees have a high likelihood of being repeat offenders. In theory, if we could create a computer capable of taking into account all the possibilities of our society, it could predict events, like a computer profit. How can this technology be used today? If we managed to implement this type of software in our cameras or security systems, we would live in a society where people who have not yet committed any crimes are discriminated simply because of how they look. Because in the eyes of the computer, they are prone to commit dangerous acts. This raises several questions that must be answered before implementing such technology. Why certain facial features are linked to criminals? Does the shape of our faces or bodies really affect our behavior? Are we destined to be good or bad solely because of our traits? And most importantly, are we willing to use this technology to avoid future crimes? If we could stop criminals before they act, would it be justice for that person? Is the security of the public more important than the person's rights? The existence of a program that controls and decides who is good or bad could be the beginning of total control. We would be able to stop crime, but at what cost? Tell me what you think about this story. Would you trust a computer to determine who is good and who is bad? Thank you all for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, assume nothing and question everything.